How do we determine if a vaccine is effective against a deadly virus? Well, let's imagine a population of 10,000 people. And suppose 100 of those die of the virus. That's a mortality rate of 100 per 10k. But we want to compare the mortality rate of the unvaccinated against the vaccinated. And first, we need to know how many of those who die are unvaccinated. Well, there's 100 who die. Suppose 20 are unvaccinated. That means 80 are vaccinated. But to compare the mortality rate of the unvaccinated against the vaccinated, we also need to know what proportion of the population as a whole is unvaccinated. Well, let's assume 10% of the population is unvaccinated. So there's our 10%, that's 1,000 unvaccinated, and that means there's 9,000 who are vaccinated. So we know that 20 out of the 1,000 unvaccinated die of the virus, and that's a mortality rate of 200 per 10k. But we also know that 80 out of the 9,000 vaccinated die of the virus, and that's a mortality rate of 89 per 10k. So the mortality rate of the unvaccinated is over twice that of the vaccinated. But what if 30% of the population is unvaccinated? Well, in that case, there are 3,000 unvaccinated and 7,000 vaccinated. So 20 out of 3,000 unvaccinated die of the virus, which is a mortality rate of 67 per 10k, and 80 out of 7,000 vaccinated die of the virus, which is a mortality rate of 114 per 10k. And so the mortality rate of the vaccinated is nearly twice that of the unvaccinated under this assumption. So getting an accurate estimate of the true population proportion of unvaccinated is critical in determining vaccine efficacy and safety. In the UK, one government source, the Office of National Statistics, estimates for the COVID vaccine that just 8% of the adult population is unvaccinated. But another government source, the UK Health Security Agency, estimates about 20% of the adult population is unvaccinated. So you can see just how big a problem this is and how critical it is. Mm -hmm.